Como estas amigos? My name is Joe Warlock and welcome to another unboxing and yes, the amazing mystery box returns. We did one of these the other day and I got another one. This one though is Doctor Who and I've been told these are the official licensee for signed Doctor Who merchandise. So that sounds promising. Without further ado, we're going to cut this open and see what kind of time lordy things await us within this parcel of joy. It's quite a decent way actually. So let's begin. And the first thing we have is a envelope. Signed commemorative cover. First thing out of the box is signed. Okay, what is this? So the first thing we have is an envelope of Sylvester McCoy and some little Doctor Who enemies. Sylvester McCoy has actually signed this. That is very cool. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, so Sylvester McCoy was actually my doctor. Which poses the question, not who's your favourite doctor, but who is your doctor, the one you grew up with? Let me know in the comments. But that's quite nice. It's got a cool stamp on it of his face, and it is franked. Okay, that's quite a good start, getting a little signed envelope, or signed anything. Quite nice. We will move on with more things, and it is... Ooh... Highly detailed action figure, Doctor Who corroded Cyberman. Oh, I like this. I love the Cyberman. I don't think they get enough love in Doctor Who, to be honest. Everyone loves the Daleks and the Weeping Angels. The Cybermen were awesome. And they looked quite good when they got revamped in the new series. This is a corroded Cyberman with limb, in, limb, in, limb? With limb damage and electric shock hands from series six. The Cybermen were brilliant, they were basically humanoids on their own planet similar to Earth and they decided to upgrade themselves with cybernetic parts. They went a little too far and they lost all emotion and became these weird cybernetic non-feeling people. Highly detailed, poseable figures. And you have the 11th Doctor with beard, the astronaut, silent. Yeah, the silence was pretty disturbing. Pegged old soldier, Cybermats, Crow to Cyberman 1, Crow to Cyberman 2, now with the flesh? Oh god, there is a bag of the flesh. I don't know what the flesh is, but that looks like an awesome figure. It's staying in the pack because I love putting these on display. That is very awesome. I like that a lot. Next. Doctor Who. Oh, this is a weird one. Doctor Who, the sensorites. Okay, so this is a CD, which most people are going to be like, a CD? But it's an audiobook, and I got a pile of these recently. I can't remember how much they were. Um, Genesis of the Daleks, and there's like the Loch Ness Monster or something. And this is the Sensorites, which was a William Mahartnell series of episodes, probably six episodes. That's how they usually did it. I could be wrong. The TARDIS carrying the Doctor, his granddaughter Susan, and two school teachers, Ian and Barbara, materialized on board a drifting spaceship in the 28th century in orbit around a planet called the Sensor Sphere. Ah, yeah, this is a William Hartnell. So this is read by William Russell, who played Ian in the original series, first broadcast in 1964. Oh, that is awesome. I love these. This is getting copied and put straight on my PC. That's nice. For me, that's nice. I love a good audiobook. This is essentially all the audio from the TV show, and then they have one of the characters from the original narrate the rest of it, like a story. It's pretty cool. Very decent. Yeah, I like that. I know it's a CD. Some people will be like, it's a CD. But I like it, it's a physical thing. That's nice. Let's grab more things. And I like this box so far. Oh, wait, is that a book? It feels like a book. Doctor Who, the Seeds of Doom and the Deadly Assassin. Okay. I used to read these uh, when I was a child in my local library. I'd go in every weekend and get a new one out. Absolutely brilliant, I had a few. This is the Seeds of Doom and the Deadly Assassin. They're two different stories. Uh, possibly six part stories, they're usually six or four parts, and they were Tom Baker, so the fourth Doctor. I don't remember much about them though, so I am going to look forward to reading that. That's actually pretty decent, I don't mind when they put a book in, it's something a little different, it makes a change, at least it's not a mug. More things to grab! Ooh, this is, ooh, 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 ha ha, ooh, it's Davros. Davros, of course, the genius scientist an evil genius scientist, basically, and the creator of the Daleks. Davros, of course, from Scarrow, and he was a Khalid, and they were at war with the Thals. Khalid's, of course, a brilliant anagram of the Daleks. 
This is so heavy. For what it is, I was expecting something really light, but it's really heavy. Stunningly moulded. It's like really well done. Terrifyingly evil looking teeth. Exceptionally well painted. This is a lovely little piece. This is going to get taken out of the box and left out of the box and put on display. Oh, this is, yeah, I like this a lot. Davros, of course, popped up originally in, uh, I mentioned before, the Genesis of the Daleks with the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. That is nice. Oh, I like that. Something physical, heavy, really well made. Don't know how much these are worth, but I like it. So we have, what are these? Ooh, hold on. Oh, never seen these before. Doctor Who? Battle in Time? Ultimate Monsters? A card set. Each pack contains nine cards. There are 225 cards in total. 185 common cards, eight in every pack. 25 rare, one in every pack. 10 super rare, one in six packs. Five ultra, one in every 24 packs. There is also a golden ticket card, which is the rarest card of all. One in every thousand packs? Well, now I want a golden card. Right, cut these open. See what monsters we have. Battles in time, ultimate monsters, where I probably won't know any of them. Right, let's rip into these and see which of these we have. I really want the golden ticket, but we have... Oh, it's got little details. So these are actually sort of battle cards, I guess. Intelligence, agility, stamina, special abilities, fear factor. Eldrad, female form. When Eldrad absorbs radiation to regenerate herself, the fourth doctor is surprised to see the alien take female form. Don't remember. Looks kind of cool, though. So, Ichatha, Icha, Ik, Ikta, Ikta, I don't know. Werewolf, pretty obvious one, that one. Crinoid, Attacking House, what? I need to know how to play this game. I didn't realise it was a game, I thought it was just some sort of random cards. Cryon, Attacking, Eldrad, Male Form. Oh, look at him, he's like the uh, troll from that film with that thing. Yeah. That's the one. Sutex Gift of Death. Use this to defeat any human card you use up to three times in one game. This looks like it could be quite a fun game. Nimeon Capsule. And what's this one? The Gods of Ragnarok. Had to be Ragnarok, didn't it? Okay. So there's a few interesting cards. No gold one. Not happy about that. What a gold one. Or an ultra rare one. Or something. I think that was just rare. We have... Auton Scout, looking a lot like um, a certain character from Red Dwarf, if I'm not mistaken. Giant Maggot, well that looks pleasant doesn't it? Absolutely delightful. Marcus Scarman. Uh, Professor Scarman in Egypt, he arrived in something else, I don't know, Fourth Doctor again anyway. Numon, these are weird as anything. Zarabi, I don't know who these are. The Yeti. The Omega's creature. I'm speeding through these now. Cyberscope. Search your deck for any Cyberman cards and add them to your hand. I don't know if that's good or bad. Rare. Ooh, it's a rare card. Tenth Doctor. Heavenly Ghost. Heavenly Ghost? Heavenly Host. I remember these guys. And the Master. Ooh. That's a super rare card, I do believe, with its all shiny, shiny. Oh yeah, super rare. Didn't even notice that. Common, rare, super rare. Well, we got a super rare. So I'm not going to complain. Interesting little cards. They're going to go in a big box and never be seen again because I collect them for no apparent reason. There's a lot more stuff in here. Okay. A Dalek notebook. Doctor Who, officially licensed. It's a very retro style notebook with a Dalek on. I actually like the colour of that. I really like the sort of um, retro colour of that and the Dalek. That's very cool, the inside. It's just a notebook. It's nice enough, it's decent enough. It's not gonna fetch much value, but it's okay. I just like the retro style. So, hmm, not bad. Let's go for more things. Ooh, this is heavy. It is a... It's a mug. It's essentially what it is. Here's a mug. I've had quite a few mugs recently. It's yellow. Completely yellow. Oh, it's yellow with a with a TARDIS on. Again, it's a retro mug. It's nice enough. 
but it's just a mug with a TARDIS on. You're probably going to pay like a fiver for this or something, maybe. So yes, it is essentially a mug with a TARDIS, the 1960s police box. TARDIS, of course, standing for Time and Relative Destruction in Smashing. Dimensions in Space. Sorry, drifted off into a lovely dream of what I was going to do to that mug later. Let's move on. Is this something else? Is this... I can't feel anything else. Ooh, this is falling out of its packet. It's a t-shirt with the world's smallest... Oh, that's heavy, actually. Yep, official Doctor Who. It's very small logo. Might have to zoom in on this logo. This is a good way to t-shirt. And obviously the logo we have... <sighs> right, memory. Ice Warriors, Daleks, Weeping Angels, uh, Cybermen, Sun... Oh, what were they called? Sultanas? Sultanas? Something like that. Uh, the Ood. The s is it the Ood? No, it's not the Ood. It's the Silence, isn't it? And whatever that thing is. Uh, Conehead McNasty Teeth. I've no idea. It's good weight. Nice. Decent. Ten or more because it's a Doctor Who item. Not bad. And that is everything. Okay, let's just go back and see everything we've got in that box. We have the Cyberman. I like it. Decent enough item, nice little toy. Don't know what they go for, but it's nice. I like it. The Davros sort of statue, that is lovely. Very well detailed. A lot of these aren't very detailed. That is very detailed and very, very nice. The notebook of it's just a notebook, but it's retro. It looks decent enough, just not a lot of value to it. The Doctor Who book, very nice. I have some time tomorrow. I might read that cover to cover because I love Tom Baker as the Doctor and the stories he was in. Doctor Who, the Sensorites, that is awesome. I love a good audiobook. Very happy with that. Two hours, 40 minutes. It's not too bad. Probably going to find them for a couple of quid, so maybe not a whole lot of value in them, but still, pretty decent. Sylvester McCoy, signed envelope. That's very nice. I don't know what to say. It's the Doctor I grew up with. I'm very happy with that. That's going to get framed and put with my other signed things of the most random people in the world. Battle in time cards. Very strange, very unusual. I collect cards. I don't know why. So for me, that's okay. This and a very nice t-shirt still with a very 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 tiny logo in the center but it's nice it's a decent looking t-shirt good weight good quality print 24.99 i think your value's there to be honest especially with the sign stuff and yeah i think the value's there i like this box it's a bit of a mixed bag of doctor who stuff and i like that i think that's really cool but i want to know what you think so have you had the Amazing Mystery Box before? The Doctor Who version? If so, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you thought of this one. What do you think of the items? What's good? What's bad? What could be better? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to grab yourself an Amazing Mystery Box, I'll leave the links down below in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.